Seeing Octavia and Josh together was more than I could handle. So was the way Sophie was acting. Oh. I think I'm almost ready. Sorry? To have your babies. Once we get married, of course. All in all, everything was getting way out of control. Giles, get your grandpa uncovered. Even more than usual. We want you to marry Josh Montana. Otherwise, you and Giles Gordon will be taught an expensive lesson. Hi there, Giles. How you doing? Oh, I'm okay, Grandpa. Just okay? You get enough sleep, boy? What's them rings under your eyes? You got something on your mind, boy? I'm fine, Grandpa. You don't look it. that we'll be together forever and ever. And I know that you feel the same way. My little pink heart does flippy flowers whenever you <laughs> The perfect start to a perfect day. Special Agent Shan, we have been trying to make contact for days now. Where have you been? Humble apologies, General Lian, General Harsh. I've been trying to rescue the mission. But you have failed us. We're on Vortex, Nebula, and Xeron. Report! The expedition is lost. All contact has ceased. You have jeopardized the future of your people. Civil war may break out at any moment. When you are found guilty, the penalty will be a lingering elimination on the descaling wheel. Oh. Allow me to complete the mission to find the lost city of Atlantis alone. We shall consider your request. Let's make a new order. There's hardly anything to choose from. What? Oh, that. Need I remind you that we're running a scam here? And need I remind you that I have a school to run? <laughs> Hello? Excuse me? I have got all kinds of things on my mind, okay? Like Josh Montana. Doesn't Vita run the school? Ran it. She's out of here. She never left me any instructions. I can't cope. It's all about you, you, you. You can be so selfish. Once I have Josh Montana in my grasp, you'll get your cut. Absolutely, 20% of the gross. <laughs> That's gross, all right. It's 10%. Okay, mustache, close to parade, geeks to bully, billionaires to marry. Work. Why don't you work? My letter, Dreamboat. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't. Oh, that's funny because I saw the mailman deliver it. You were watching? <laughs> oh, you mean that letter? Yes, no, I did. Yeah, I um, yeah, I got it. Yeah. And tell me, how happy did it make you? Wave field dynamics. The entire universe is bound together by mysterious and contradictory laws. Some of these we will attempt to explore today. Hey, babe. Pardon me. Oh, I mean, hey, babe, yourself, of course. Your pencil needs sharpening. Here, let me. I love doing things for you. Dollface, you look good enough to eat. Oh, Josh, you have such a way with words. Whoops. So tell me what's cooking. It's a process where bioorganic matter is rendered Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Everything's fine, Josh. Thank you so much for asking. Don the janitor, get yourself to the principal's office now and bring the three-pound ball hammer. Don the janitor, get yourself to the principal's office right away. Thank you. Damn computers. Down again. 
my computer system has completely crashed. Fix it, Don. What do I pay you for? Oh, yeah, you do. Like, when did that last happen? I pay you? It's just staff wages have been stuck on a holding pattern. It's a bank fault. Oh, fix it! Like you know a lot about computers. With my degree in uh, microchipology and all. Oh, why did Vita have to leave? Because you sent her off for happiness training. Oh, shut up, Don. That was a rhetorical question. I know what Vita used to do. Why don't you let me help you? What a kind thought. Why don't you go out and get some fresh air? What a wonderful suggestion. You know what I mean? I, I told you, I said to you, I don't want to be your boyfriend. That's why she, that's why she doesn't hear me. Well, tell her again, louder. What? Well, I don't think she's deaf, Beanie. <laughs> well, you've got to get it through to her. I don't understand. Why is she with Josh Montana when she looks at you like that? <laughs> There she is. You've got to help me. Can we help me? Let's go. Sabrina, have you seen my boyfriend Giles anywhere? Oh, I'm sorry. He must have gone. Oh, you see, we're so close, we can't bear to be apart from each other. <laughs> You look kind of cool, you know? Kind of like you, Don. You bring them back now, you hear? I've only got one spare. Oh, well. Me yeah, take these two. There. That sets off the whole outfit. Let's get you out of here. Pick a lucky color. Um, I pick baby blue. B-A-B-Y-B-L-U-E. Pick a lucky number. Can I pick? No, silly, it's my turn. And I choose two. Why two? Because two's company when you're with the one you love. Two says, Giles loves Sophie. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Is it my turn now? Go make your own. He loves me, loves me, he loves me, he loves me. Dream on, you naive child. He loves me, he loves me, oh, he loves me, he loves me. What am I going to do? Man or mouse? She's only a girl. Oh yeah, right. Only. Hiding from Sophie? No. No way. I need you to help me. Help you? Do what? Break up Octavia and Josh. How? Who are the Vermonts, Giles, and where are they from? When I find out what the secret is, it'll stop Octavia getting together with the Montanas. The local royalty tied up with that bunch of wackos? I don't think so. That sounds like blackmail. You want Octavia and I want Josh, right? Well, yeah. Okay, it just, it just sounds a little bit unethical. <laughs> so, Giles, if you want anything in this life, you have to go right out and snag it. Are you in? Good. So, Montana, you've been invited to meet Octavia's folks. Great progress. Yeah, Koshain, way cool, right? This is your game plan. Now dig my mindset on this. Mindset? Oh, cool, coach. Opposition key defensive player, always the mother. The mother? Oh, I'll take her out first. The three Fs. Fulsom, flattery, flowers. Move one, mistake it for a sister. Got it? Wow, slick, Coach Shane. What kind of flowers? Big. Colored ones, and buy them. Don't steal them from the cemetery. But if you have to, make sure you take the card off first. Wow, you got it sussed, coach. You sure have lived. 
Anything else? That's all there is, kid. Now, get out there and... Touchdown! Now look, Commander Vermont has no record in the Navy before he suddenly appears as a full commander. Maybe he was like, deep undercover somewhere for years, you know, like, 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 like a secret agent. There's no way Octavia will get Josh, no way. Who else could possibly deserve Josh but me? Yes, absolutely true, Sabrina. Hey, go back there. It's Octavia's mom. She's like so young. What's she doing with that evil looking biker dude? Who's that other dodgy chick? Time to slow you down a little, Sabrina dear. Hey, Mama, Grandpa, I'm home. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I can just tell you're so excited to see me. Look at this, Giles. It's an apple pie. Sophie brought it over. And I hope you all enjoy eating it just as much as I did baking it. You too, Grandpa. Oh, I just do love old people. They're so twinkly, fun, and wonderful. Yeah. Let me help you with that, Miss Gordon. Oh, call me Dorothy, why don't you? Okay, I'll cut it, Dorothy. You know, Giles is such a dreamboat. Of course, he needs a total makeover, but I'm really gonna turn him into something. What are you doing with that thing, girl? You gonna slice the pie or what? Oh, Father, the pie can wait. Remember you and me have to go cut down that poison ivy and spiny hogweed in the mangrove garden feature? Pardon? You and Sophie enjoy the pie, Giles. We'll have ours later. I want mine now. I ain't going out there without pie. Yeah, he's right. Why, why don't we sit down and have some pie right now? Hmm. No, go. Giles, won't it just be just totally dreamy once we're married? We're what? Married. And together, all the time, forever and ever with those pretty little bluebirds fluttering around in the roses and hundreds of fat little babies. Are you kidding? Are you insane or something? Get her out of here. Just get off my back. She'll do. Don't jump out of your pram. Drop the net on her. Get her out of your life. Why well, you still can't. You must be Octavia's sister. Oh, my Josh, why you flatterer? Don't tell me. You're her mother. Josh, of course I'm her mother. In that case, Mrs. Vermont, these are for you. Oh, those are beautiful. From my very own greenhouse on the hill. It's time Octavia brought a boy home. Mommy, please, I'm not a golden retriever. A fine physical specimen. Dad, he's not a horse. Well, maybe intellectually. Don't they make the perfect couple? Of course, the Vermonts were a military family. Mine too. You know, we Montanans have been there making money since the Battle of Hastings. Battle of what? Oh, Josh. I do have some more genetically modified Hawaiian suckling pig. It comes with its own sliced pineapple genes. In the War of the Roses, we supplied the roses. Oh. We own Sunset Coyote Mine Company. My favorite. And we're major shareholders in Ripdorf Aerospace. Ripdorf. Oh, those were the days, Josh. Glory days. Battle of Safeway, E-Day. Don't you mean D-Day? So, we were late. <laughs> what a day. Was there no escape? What was I going to do about Sophie? At least she'd gone home.
Oh no. Talking about getting married. What's married? It's when two people in love stand up in front of everybody and promise not to hurt each other or run off with anybody else. Hey, cool. Yeah, but you gotta spend like all the time with each other, night and day. Way to go. I mean, what a great idea. But it's, you know, it's gotta be the right person, you know. <laughs> like, not Sophie. <laughs> maybe like Octavia. Yes, yes, like Octavia. <laughs> or maybe someone like Jack. Cool. Yeah, anyone but Sophie. Atlantis High, Center for Learning. This is Violet Profusion speaking. How can I help you? Good morning, Miss Profusion. This is your bank manager speaking. I'm sorry, Miss Profusion is not in the office right now. Can I take a message? Violet, are you aware how much you and your school owe the bank? It was a computer glitch. They crashed this week. We require payment on your credit card for the following items. Liposuction, hyposuction, crinosuction. And by the way, your credit rating is now so bad that catalog companies will no longer let you have any clothes or jewelry items on APRO. Giles. You are so lucky to have such a nice, normal girl like Sophie for your girlfriend. And she's so cute. Thank you, Mom. He's so modest and so proud of me. And she can bake. Mm. Hmm. If you commit to one facial expression during the entire day, people will respect you because they will know that you have her highest status. Would you excuse me for one second? Sabrina, we are in real trouble. I thought I told you to never, never make secret contact with me in front of my people. This is an emergency. The school has run out of money. My credit rating has fallen. Petty details is all I can hear. All I care about is looking good so I can sneer Josh. Capiche? I am not your boyfriend, okay? Why don't you get that? You're so funny. I just know you're playing super duper hard to get. <laughs> I am not playing hard to get. You're not? Oh, good. Well, let's go somewhere we can be alone. That's not what I meant. Your uh, father invited me around this evening. He's got some stuff for me to look at. Mother will be pleased. Oh, I will just have the salad. The piece with the green fly on would be most acceptable. Look, you got to eat. Well, not this muck, obviously. Let me get you some real food. I, you don't look so good. Here, you need to build up your strength for later. What? What do you mean later? <laughs> You're so funny. Let me cut up the meat for you. No, oh, I can do it by myself. <laughs> no, I want to. I said I want to. So I will, okay? I will! <laughs> He's my boyfriend. Giles was telling me all about this matrimony thing that people do. That's matrimony. It sounded great. Two people joined together. Beanie. People can't just be together. They don't have to be joined together like some Frankenstein dead body plastic surgery trip, okay? 
But Giles said that... Listen, marriage is just a scam to sell millions of boxes of man-sized tissues we're blubbering into, which is destroying our world's forests. So, forget it. You mean, like, we forget it? Are you kidding? Uh-huh, absolutely no way. We have free spirits, Beanie. We don't need that kind of thing. Hey, what's up, Spark? What's the matter? Hey, Bainster, what did I say? Special Agent Shan. We have arrived at our decision. Many called for your immediate elimination. But I grant you the opportunity to complete your mission. I swear that I will find the lost city. Do that, Special Agent Shan. There is little time. If you fail, expect no mercy from us. Okay, next phase, I need a new outfit. What happened? Well, when I came back from seeing you at the canteen, I found my office full of these masked ninjas. They snatched the clothes. What? I've got, like, totally nothing new to wear. Well, I, I, I tried to tell you. Except for what I've got on now. Well, why don't you wear one of my ensembles? <laughs> Have you looked in the mirror lately? I can do without your lousy help, Ms. Perfusion. And don't try and stop me or I'll tell the media that you shave your back. We'll leave you alone. Come on, Dad. Time to unblock the drains. Now is the hour. Do it. Tell her. Make her believe. Sophie. Okay, so Sophie, listen to me. Okay, I'm not your boyfriend. What are you saying? Then why were you pretending you are? Hmm? But I wasn't pretending. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you. Okay, you're not my girlfriend. I want you to get out of my face. Oh, la di da You'll feel much better tomorrow, <laughs> dreamboat. I'm not your dreamboat. Oh, I know you don't mean that. Plus, you know your, your apple pie? Mm, well, it tastes like Josh's sweaty sports socks. Okay, why don't you understand? Oh, I do understand, Giles. Of course I understand. Oh, it is good. I, was... I understand completely and utterly. And Mr. Fluffy Muffin. Oh, yes, even Mr. Fluffy Muffin understands too. Whoa, way too freaky for me. I'm out of here. Ever had the feeling you said the wrong thing? Surely you're not thinking of jeopardizing your future with the agency. Josh is such a dumb sports jock bonehead. I can't. Octavia, bonehead or not, at 23, Josh Montana will be the youngest president ever, and you will be his first lady. Then halfway through his first term in office, you will succeed him. Really? How? Never mind the details. Madame President, that has a certain resonance, don't you think? I don't even like him. Octavia, amour is transient. Money and power never stale. Just marry him. The rest will be history. You can leave that to me. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>